Hello, this is Jennifer Goodman with Good Life Realty, and I am here today with Dick Clark, whose house at 4500 Amara is in this year's Austin Modern Homes Tour. Dick, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me, Jennifer. It is pleasure a pleasure to be here. It is a pleasure is mine. That is quite a beautiful home you've built. Well, thank you. I think so, too. I was really proud of it. Can you tell me what the inspiration was for this house? Because I know it started as a spec house. Yeah, it started as a spec house. Well, the inspiration for all the houses we do really comes from, the very first comes from the land. Mm -hmm. The topography, the, the sun, the views, the breezes, you know, we even look at that before we deal with the program. And then quickly we try and fit a program for a client to that. Uh, nothing's preconceived, you know, you don't, you don't plan a house before the lot is there because mm -hmm. it's a very particular lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's on the hilltop practically. It's got 360 degree views of all around. It's in the Barton Creek area and from the rooftop deck, which is part of the design, you get downtown city views. So by being on the knoll of the hill and how you approach the house and go all the way around and come in, what it seems like the back, it's actually the front. The back of the house, which is really the front, is the view, primary view. So extremely site specific. Mm -hmm. you know, this house wouldn't wouldn't have been done that way on a different site. It is you're right, it is a surprise because you do come all mm -hmm. the way around to the front. Yeah, exactly. Were there any considerations when you were planning the interior spaces? Always. We're a little different than some architects in that we carry our design all the way through interior design mm -hmm. you know with everything every cabinetry i mean we can in this case you had lara Brooke. yeah so that's where we're a little different you know we detail things way down and help the clients with all the selections absolutely do you have a favorite room in the house oh the, the living room is really cool because way it opens onto the pool and the doors slide out and da, da, da. yeah it's you know it's it's pretty pretty special yeah is it your favorite well, I guess I don't know. It is special. Yeah. It is special. I mean, there and but there is a lot. You know, there, there's there's always favorite rooms, and typically a favorite room ends up being like a, a small home study or mm -hmm. something special like that. This has a great study. This has incredible rooftop deck. It's kind of <gasps> extremely cool, and it's three sixty degree views. So I don't like to use the word favorite on anything. There's some really good spaces in this house. Okay, tell me a little bit about those. Almost every uh, major space in the house, almost every space period, because it does have a 360 view, but if you look at, uh, you know, there's a central core to the house, which is a living room, kitchen, dining on one side, and ma the major sleeping areas on the other side. Mm -hmm. And then there's this connection that you enter through, and then the pool's out front. So all the, the those yeah. primary interior spaces, the master, the kitchen, living, dining, uh, the study area, all have got into the pool and have the long distance view. So a lot of times you can't do that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Were there any other things you considered about in terms of like feeling in different, whether it's materials or anything else that you're using in the house? Uh, well, that's all through. We, we, you know, we try to keep as regional as we can mm -hmm. on materials. Uh, not only in our architectural style, but in our, in our finishes. And it's for two reasons. One, just because it's kind of cool, and two, it's a lot cheaper. We use stone still. I use primarily stucco, stone, glass, and metal. That's, that's what makes up our palette most of the time. Okay. Is there anything else about this house you'd like people to know? Oh, they should do one similar to it. <laughs> and I'd be happy to help them with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I, I'd be honored to own a house like that and tell you. It's, yeah. well, thank you. I think right. so. And I think the clients have been really happy there. So it's good. They, you know, we've spoken with them and they're, they're just beaming. Yeah. Great so. builder that we worked with on it. Or, yep. You know, he's, oh, hot. He, I'm going to talk. Yeah, I am going to talk. He hired us to do it. And as I say, we're not, I think we're on our sixth house with him now. And they've all, these were all spec homes. They've all, I'm pretty sure all but one were sold during construction. Uh, and I think the one, you know, sold now, it just wasn't sold during construction. And the, you know, the, there's a woman named Kim Power in the office who is about to have a baby in the next day or so, who is the project architect and working mm -hmm. with, with Ohad, and she should have 
Mm. Not credit miss. All right. Well, I'm Jennifer Goodman with Good Life Realty, and I have been here with Dick Clark, whose house at 4500 Amara is something to be experienced. We hope.